Hey, what's up, guys? It's Chris again. Long time no see, huh? Um, there hasn't been, really been too much activity with ROMs as of lately. They haven't found any, like, really awesome ones. I, I've been flashing a lot of them, let's just say. Um, I tried King Clicks, didn't really like it. Um, tried the Hero Revolution, it was horrible. I tried a bunch of them, and um, I'm really big on the home screen, or the rosy, moving really fast, and since those didn't move fast at all, um, I, I hate when, I, when I'm when i switching home screen, not, not home screens, but when I'm transitioning the screens, I hate when I accidentally click something and it opens the application because it takes forever, you gotta go back, and it's very frustrating. So, um, the only person making really cool ROMs with really fast rosies is MLIGN, so I always flash all of his stuff, but um, I'll be doing a video on that later. Right now, I just want to show you guys Drizzy's Blur ROM. Um, it comes from the Motorola Click that isn't out yet, but if you have a G1 or a MyTouch 3G, um, you guys can actually flash this ROM and you will have the Moto Blur UI, which is basically just um, kind of like Cupcake, not as pretty as Hero, but I'll, I'll just show you guys right now and you guys can take a look at it. So. Here it is. This is um, Drizzy's Blur Point Seven. Um, hasn't even gotten to a 1.0 or a 1. Point anything because it's it's so early. But before. All they had was data. Now they finally got um, a lot of the stuff working. Uh, the Bluetooth works on this, supposedly. I'm not sure. I haven't really tested it out, and I don't know anyone that's actually tried it, but Bluetooth is supposed to be working on this. But not quite sure, so don't quote me on that. Um, there is no Wi-Fi, <clears throat> which kind of sucks, because that's usually how I set up my accounts, and usually in my house all I have is Edge. Which is really frustrating when I'm trying to download apps and stuff. I um, have heard a few problems of people having trouble when downloading apps from the market. I've actually downloaded apps from the, apps from the market and it works fine. So I um, haven't had that problem at all. The lock screen doesn't work. Um, you can basically... I set my lock screen and you can just type whatever you want and it'll say correct. So kind of frustrating when you don't want people going to your phone and going into your MySpace and checking all your messages. But... Um, so, Linux swap, not sure if it's working. I tried um, one of the Blur ROMs before this one when it came out just to get a feel for it, just to see what the Moto Click is going to be all about. But it, um, Linux swap wasn't working in that one, I know for a fact, and it ran a lot slower than this one. This one runs a little bit quicker. Um, still not as quick as I would like it to be. I mean, I feel like it's not as quick as a Hero ROM, but. Maybe I just feel like the Hero ROMs are a lot smoother. This is still pretty, I guess you could say it's pretty quick. Um, opening and closing apps seems to work pretty well. You can go to Happenings. Maybe I'd take that back. It, it is a little bit slow, but it could be my internet connection, especially when going to Happenings because it's trying to update um, all my information. One thing you will notice, the notification tray, you can see how it's just really choppy and Kind of frustrating if you don't mind going um, in slow motion, just taking things really slow, then not really too much of a problem. But I, I do get a lot of force closes with this. Not really too big a deal because it'll usually ask me force close or wait, and I just wait. So um, just trying to give you guys a sneak peek. If you guys, especially if you guys want to see, well, I don't know if I want to get a Moto Click when it comes out. Not really sure if you if you'll like. You know, if I like the the whole UI and everything, the blur, raw, blur, moto blur, and everything that it brings. So this is a good way just to test it out and see. You know, maybe you might want to upgrade your G1 to the moto click, but then again, maybe you won't after trying this. Um, there are five screens instead of seven, like the Hero ROMs have. So a little less space, but you can put a bunch of cool widgets and stuff, and they're kind of compact. Um, you don't have to crowd it with everything that you see on um, some of the other sites and stuff will show like a hundred widgets on like one screen and it's all crowded and just all um, compact and stuff but you can add like cool little widgets like happenings um, happenings basically takes all of the status updates from all your social networking sites like myspace last fm um, tons of stuff and it just um, puts them all in one space now. So if you click happenings, <clears throat> all of your stuff. Right now I have it set on only Twitter because that's all I really 
really pay attention to, but you can set your status and it'll update your status across all everything. So it's kind of cool. Facebook, MySpace, you can do all services. You can update your status just for certain things if you want. Um, when you go to your happenings, it'll show all the um, status updates from everybody if you so choose. I just like to keep it on Twitter. Um, if I do all services, it'll show everything. Twitter, MySpace, Facebook, um, Last.fm, uh, everything that you that you have your accounts connected to. So this is pretty much the cool thing that, that Moto Blur brings to the table. Um, I kind of find it just, I don't know, I thought it would be really cool to have everything in one place when you go there, but it's just kind of, it's just kind of, I don't know, like too, too, too much, too, uh, I just don't, I don't think I really like it too much. I, I thought I'd like it a whole lot more. I thought it would be really, really cool and simple and awesome, but I, I think it's easier to actually just go to like a separate app and then check out your stuff. Like, I want to see what my Twitter is. Let's go to that app. Um, don't really like it all in one space. They also have a <clears throat> messaging. So now anytime you get an email or a direct message from MySpace, anything that's directly to you will be in all in this one place. You can choose them individually or you can go to Universal Inbox and it'll just show everything you have from MySpace, Facebook, your email, your text messaging. Everything that's directly to you will be um, right here in this universal inbox again. I thought it'd be pretty cool To have just have it all like nice and neat and everything, but um, I don't think I like it actually. I think it's easier just to go to one by one, but It is kind of cool because you don't need to download or have specific apps like MySpace or Facebook anymore It's all built into the phone. So that I mean I guess that is pretty cool um, Thought I would like it a whole lot more don't really mind having separate apps, but maybe that's just me um, what else can I say? Let's just take a look. Okay, so we took a look at um, text messaging ha happenings. Email is pretty cool. If you guys have a Yahoo account and you notice you can't really get that to sync with your Hero ROMs, um, Yahoo does work on this one, so you'll be able to get your Yahoo email address and all that stuff. Um, all your emails sent to to the Blur ROM. I don't know if I really recommend this too much for the the noobs or like people who um, I don't know don't really have a lot of experience with stuff and force closes there are a lot of them there are just basically are a whole lot of force closes with this um video is getting kind of long so i just want to kind of get through it I, I did install all my apps and everything um set cpu is a must maybe overclock widget not sure if it works but set cpu does definitely need to keep this on max if you want this to run as mine is running which is like so so i put it always on max set on boot um because without it, this thing will just chug and hardly be usable at all. But just trying to give you guys a sneak peek, new look at um, Blur and what it's all about. So you can't have this on your G1 and it runs eh, so-so. So, so. Um, check that out if you want. This is the browser. I finally have 3G. It's pretty quick. It doesn't really give me too much trouble. Um, the button actions are kind of weird. I'm going to try to go back home. If you press home, you press home again, it'll open the app tray. I guess that's kind of neat. Press menu, it'll open up all your settings and everything. Um, hold it. Long press it, it'll open the keyboard. Kind of weird. Um, I don't know. Auto rotation works, so that's kind of cool. A lot of people really, 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 really want this. Um, you can't get it in Hero just because Hero's not made for people with keyboards, like us G1 users. But... Sorry this video was so quick, or actually so long, and I'm talking kind of jumbled and fast, but I just kind of want to get out of this Moto Blur stuff and get back to my hero because I, I really like hero. I need, I need to flash MLIGN 2.5.5 because that that is the stuff to have. This is just, I don't know, too choppy, kind of weird. A lot of my contacts didn't sync for my Google account. You do have to set up your own Moto Blur account. You can see that in the beginning when you do it, but um, just give it a flash if you want to just kind of see what it's all about. I mean, it, it won't really hurt anything. Um, it's really kind of cool just to see and it's cool that we can have it on our G1s um, I'm expecting big things once they can further optimize this and make it run maybe even better than it runs on the click not sure yet since the um, Click cannot be rooted yet. I'm sure they'll find a workaround with that later, but all right almost 10 minutes Thanks a lot for watching guys. I uh, will see you soon Take care